the best ways to animate hair in Blender is using the old particle system, in my opinion, and using weight painting. So I'm going to show you how using weight painting and the old particle system helped me simulate this hair and make it look somewhat realistic. Let's get into it. As you can see here, I used the weight painting. What is in red, it's going to stay still and not move. What's in green is going to move a little bit and what's in blue, it's going to simulate a lot. This helped me maintain the structure of the hair. It helped me minimize the amount of collisions and also it helped me reduce the bake time when I hit bake. So that came in clutch. These were the settings that I used for the hair dynamics. Uh, the pin goal is very important, the quality steps, the distance for the collision and also the damping and everything else that you see in there. And then I just hit bake. So these were the settings for the collisions for the head and the body. I kept these values relatively low. And then I went ahead and just left the top part of the head still, the baby hairs and the spikes. And the only thing I simulated was the back of the head and the strings. So that made it a little bit easier for me and my computer. If you're simulating hair in Blender, definitely consider not simulating all of the parts of the hair. 